welcome back to my channel so if you are new to this channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the post notification bell button so you guys are notified every time i upload and don't forget to like this video so now that we did all that i'm gonna explain to you guys what i'm gonna do so today's video i have my little nail trainer hand here i have not used this thing in so long i was cleaning out my room you guys can kind of see it but i was cleaning out my room and i was like you know what i should use this for my videos so here i am so for today's video i'm going to show you five encapsulated types of nail designs that you could easily do so if you guys are new to the encapsulation part of nails or if you're, if you're new to nails in general this video will probably help you out a lot so i am going to show you the gold foil the angel foil now the flower design which is the encapsulated flower design encapsulated glitter and a encapsulated marble and a 3d encapsulated flower so i don't know in what order i'm gonna do this but let's get this video started so we're gonna be using clear from koopa okay i'm gonna dip my brush into the liquid and i'm gonna grab a little bit of liquid And then I'm gonna place it down and spread it. And this is just gonna be like my glue for my little butterflies. Oop, they, they just fall so easily. So then we're just gonna place them sporadically and I think I'm gonna add more because it's such a longer nail. So let's remove that again. And we'll add the butterflies. I'm gonna keep adding some clear. You guys, I'm so sorry I forgot to turn off the air. Sorry for that. So, now that that noise is out of the way, let's continue the video. I'm gonna add some more. And I'm kind of like moving them around. I keep changing my mind where I want the butterflies because I want it to be um, even when when it comes to the colors of the glitter. I think I'm just gonna add one more on the top. I'll add a pink one closer to the white. And then I'm gonna close this nail off. So I'm gonna grab some clear, put it in the middle, let it go down on its own a little bit, and then I can help it feather it down. And grab another large bead, put it down under that one, let it go down that up to blend it evenly even out the sides and then I want to blend it down and I am gonna add one more at, at the very bottom here because I don't think that there's enough acrylic there so I think that should help and maybe just a little more at the very very end And then I'm gonna add another one here. Okay, so now our butterfly is encapsulated. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and do our, our encapsulated flower design. So we're gonna go ahead and use these flowers right here. All right, so I'm gonna use this mix that I made myself. Let me swatch it for you guys so you know what it looks like. And that way I'll put it up here because I don't even, I don't wanna get them confused. So let's see. So this is a color I made myself with a bunch of random covers. And that's what it came out to look like. So I really like it. So we're going to use that one. So put it on the top. Oh, I keep dropping it on the paper. <laughs> okay, so put that on the top. And then I'm going to spread it out. And then I'm going to fade it down a little bit. And a little bit for color to like hide any imperfection under anyone's nail. Push it up a little and then feather that down. Probably need some there because I didn't blend these tips. If not, they probably would be blending a lot better right now, but that's all right. So now that we have that, now we're gonna go ahead and add the flowers. So for my flowers, I like to use this beautiful tweezer that one of the companies sent with the flowers. I got them on Amazon. So they did come together. You just never know which, what company is going to send you what kind. But um, I don't know which flowers I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to go ahead with the pink because uh, I'm kind of feeling this whole pink vibe right now. So I'm going to go with the pink and then I'm going to go with this purple for the background, I guess. So let's do this purple that I'm breaking apart. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead into the clear first. And I think I want the purple somewhere in the middle right here. Just wipe that down and then Grab that purple carnation type of flower. Put it right there in the middle. Press it down. And you like to, you can do this with your finger because it does help you more. It looks a lot better too. It goes down so that when you go to file, it's not poking out in all your flowers flower files off I've made that mistake before okay so now that we have that I want to add my flowers so back into the clear removing the liquid and then I'm just gonna probably apply it right there and apply one right there. Let's grab our tweezer. All right, so we're gonna pick up the flower and then we're just gonna put it right there underneath. I think that would look good right there to the side. And then I'm gonna grab another flower of a different color. So I was just gonna do those two, but now I kinda wanna do something a little different. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, this yellow's pretty. That'll be a nice contrast. And pressing it down really helps. And then <clears throat> I think I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter on this one. So I'm gonna grab my gold glitter that I custom made myself. So that's what it's gonna look like. And then this will just help it look a lot nicer. So this already has a little bit of acrylic. So we don't have to add too much here. Just a little bit to create a little more contrast. And then, now that everything's pressed down, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the clear top coat. 
Not the top coat, but the clear acrylic, sorry. So I just added a nice big bead right there. And we're just feathering that down. Making sure that it's fully covered. Adding a big bead right there underneath the cuticle. Feathering it down. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more at the very bottom. And let it kind of droop down also. And then feather that out. Oh, it's a little thin at the very tip, so I'm gonna add a little bit more right there. Okay, so that's that one. This is the encapsulated flower one, and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so the next one that I wanna show you guys is the gold foil and angel foil. So we're gonna use this gold foil here and we're gonna use this angel foil there. Okay, so like again, like I said, we're just gonna grab the clear and this is gonna be our glue. Oops, this is gonna be our glue to add the foil. So the first foil I like to add is not the angel foil. I'm sorry, not the gold foil. I like to add the angel underneath and the gold on top. So we're gonna go ahead and take our angel paper first. So let's see what I can find here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tweezers instead. So there goes one. Two pieces. Three pieces. And then now that we're going lower, I'm gonna grab some more. The clear. Oh. Feather that down. Grab some more pieces. Then I'm gonna just get my fingers and press them down a little. And then we're gonna get some more clear, like a thinner layer. And then we can start adding our gold foil pieces. So I'm gonna use those little tweezers again. Oh, I don't like that one. So we'll grab, let me see, we'll grab a different piece. Place it over here. We'll grab some more clear. And I think I like how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and close that one out. So 
So for this one, I'm going to start all the way at the top and I'm going to just let that bead go and drag down. And then now that it doesn't want to go on its own, so I can just feather it down myself. Take another large bead in the middle. So like you guys can see, I really don't have a certain method when it comes to the encapsulating. I just want to make sure that it's getting closed off properly and enough so that it's also somewhere in the middle and it's not, cause if you can turn it like this, you can see it's still thin, so it's not done. So I'll put this one right here. Kind of push that up and push it, feather it down. So that way when we go into file, it's not ruined. And just take one last bead for the very bottom. All right, so this one looks good. And that's that one. So now we can move on to the next one. So for my marbles, I like to use like a milky white or an off-white color. I just have this one that I made myself. It's almost out. I have another bigger container. I don't know, somewhere in there. I'm still organizing my stuff. But it's just like a marble white. A marble white. It's just like a milky white. So what I like to do is take that milky white and i'm gonna be using this color by madame glam and it is called marilyn it's just a solid dark black color so we're gonna be using this for our marble as well as our custom-made milky design and also going to be using this beautiful glitter that i just used on the other nail the encapsulated flower one so that same glitter is going into the marble now so let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with, I'll put this here so you guys can see it. So I'm going to, oh, there's like a fly in here. Okay. So I'm going to go into my liquid and remove as much liquid as I can. I'm going to go into my white first. That's what you want to do first, milky white, and then tap into the black. And basically what you want to do is place it down somewhere. And then you start kind of like maneuvering it everywhere. So I just do mine randomly. So that was too small. So I'm going to make sure right now I grab a bigger bead of white. Oops, sorry, that's a clear. But I'm going to grab a bigger bead of white and black because this nail is longer than I usually my clients don't get them as long depending who it is but they're usually smaller when I do the marble so there you go so we're just kind of playing with it and it doesn't have to be perfect because you can fix it later you shall see how so let's go into the white again and grab some more milky white we go into the black take out the liquid oops i dropped the pen and now i want to kind of go this way kind of making a different pattern so that it's not all the same and then kind of drag it down and i'm gonna grab one more with the black Go into the white, go into the black. This is a little bit of a smaller one. And I think I'll do it right here. Put too much. So then I'm gonna remove that. There we go. And 
this one's done there so now that we have it like looking like this it's all crazy looking i'm gonna grab my milky white oh, not my clear but my milky white i get them confused and i'm gonna take out the liquid and then i'm just gonna start filling in those little gaps and then i'm just gonna feather it down Take another one, put it in the middle. I feel like something was missing there. Okay, so now that it looks like this, we're gonna add some more dimension. So we're gonna add some more white with the black and then smear it around again. Like I said, play around with it. This is the way it works for me. Doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Doesn't mean that this is the only way to do it. This is just one way to do it. Always remember that. So I just wanted some darker lines now because when I go into the into with the gold I want it to look I don't know I just want it to pop a little more so I'm gonna do one there take another dark line right there and kind of spread that one out as well Now I'm kind of just putting just white. A little more white down here to fill that little area in and I feel like it obviously might need some black at the very end right here so that looks pretty good so what I want to do now is I want to take a little bit of that gold and follow those little black lines a little bit. So just a little, don't put too much because you just want to make it look like it's on top of that black or next to the black at least. Put some on this side, just following wherever that black is. Oh, that was too much. There we go. And then probably just a little bit on this one right here. I'm 
All right, so that's what it looks like now. And I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate that with the clear. Okay, so that's the marble one. Okay, so for our very last nail, I'm gonna do an encapsulated 3D art flower. So I think I wanna do like, um, kind of like the marble background as well. So I'm just gonna go into this pink that is already on here and I'm gonna go into, actually it's supposed to be the white first, sorry guys. So remember, go into the white first. That wasn't enough. And then go into whatever color of your choice so this is what it looks like and then i'm just gonna leave it as wet as it is and kind of like go down like that and then Don't want a lot going on with this, so it's just so I'm gonna be using this Mia Secret ice cream. This is the pink, and this came from the Fruity Collection. So we're gonna open this up, and this is gonna be the 3D flower color. Pretty bright, pretty pink. Okay, so Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys what I do so that this brush doesn't get dirty after, but right now we're just gonna set it to side. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Crystal 3D Art Brush and this is the number, let's see, where is the number? A, A3, that's what it says. And it's so pretty. And then when you open it, it looks like this. So let's just do a regular rose. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pink. And let's see, I'll probably put it right here. So actually, let's grab a bigger petal if we can. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. But I think I'm gonna start it right there. So you kind of let it set a little bit first, the little ball, let it set so that it's easier to move around and it's not too liquidy. And brush your, and wipe your brush so that there's no liquid on it. So then here, I'm gonna kind of start making it into a C, spreading it, it's still a little bit wet, but I wanna break it apart. And then I'm gonna start flattening. Oh, I had a butterfly. Okay, so we're gonna start flattening it out. Like that, from the sides. Okay, so that's the first petal, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab another petal, another big petal. And I'm just gonna leave that one up here. Like I said, just let it set for a little bit first. Trying to see if I can mess with it yet, but it's a little wet. 
gotta be patient when it comes to these three nail art. Kind of going around it and overlapping it with the other one. Kind of spreading the petal. So that one looks like that. And then we're gonna go to our third petal. It's a pretty big one as well. And I'm gonna sit it down right here. And then I'm gonna wait for that one to polymerize a little so I, before I start moving it around. All right, so let me flatten it out. Start cutting it in there so that it becomes a C. Start spreading it out. And that's our third petal. And then we need one right, un, right where that little gap is. Let's grab a good amount of liquid, dip it into the powder, and then place it where we want it. So we'll let that one set as well. Start cutting into it. And separating it. Flattening it out. I have not done a three flowers, so it's not going that great, but <laughs> I haven't done it in so long, but still wanted to show y'all how you guys can do it. Cause it's not as hard as it seems. So right here, we're gonna add one to kind of contrast what we just messed up, the way we overlapped it, but that's okay. Um, let me see if I can kind of fix the way that looks. It looks too flat for me. But anyway, we're gonna fill like with with any type of art. You could always fix these little things. So you see where I'm putting it so that this side doesn't look crazy. So I'm gonna put this flower, this little petal there. Let it polymerize a little bit first. Turn it into the C again. And then flatten that down. Oh shoot, I put way too much liquid in there. I didn't clean up my brush properly, but we can fix it, let it go out. And this is what it should look like now. And then we're gonna add one in the middle. So this one in the middle, we're gonna, actually we should add a little more cause this one has to be like that bigger petal. So that's what it looks like now. I'm letting it polymerize a little bit. Ok, 
Okay, so now that it's a little drier, I'm gonna dig a little hole in it, poke a little hole in it like that and start squiggling, not squiggling, but swerving it around, opening it up a little bit and I'm gonna pat it down. this size right here and you will see what I do so I'm gonna grab some clear and put it inside there grab some oh grab some beads put them inside Oh, they really don't want to hug on that. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So now we got some inside of the rose. Cute, that's so pretty. And then I'm going to add a little bit of clear again. I'm gonna grab them like that instead. And then I'm gonna just kind of go around the flower a little bit and kind of fall also so that we have nice dimension in the flower Kind of letting it drag to with the marble effect that we did. I'm kind of like doing a little trail of that. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here because there's still marble right there and that should be good and then we're gonna close this off as well with the clear All right, so we're gonna let that dry and then I'll show you guys what they look like after I file them and add the clear. Or I'll add the clear on camera, but I'll file them off camera. Okay, so here's our glitter, um, the butterfly glitter. This one is our flower design. Beautiful. This one is our angel foil slash gold foil design. Wow, look at that.
This one is, oh my gosh, our beautiful marble design. Ooh, look at that. Once the top coat is on there, you guys see it a lot better. See all the detail in all of the nail art encapsulated nails. And then our very last beautiful encapsulated flower design. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure these and I'll show you guys a little reveal shot. All right guys, that is all for my video. I really hope that you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Once again, these are the encapsulated nails I just did. They are so cute. I hope you guys have learned something. I hope I really helped you guys. Thank you again. Have a great one, you guys. Bye-bye.